Jenny Fabian is the co-author, along with the late Johnny Byrne, of the cult novel Groupie, which was first published in 1969. The heroine is called Katie, but the book is really a fictionalised account of Jenny Fabian's own experiences in London in the 1960s. The interesting thing about the groupie situation is, were we, were we independent women or girls making our own choices or were we brainwashed victims in the name of free love? It's a difficult one to decide. Um, linguistically, groupie is, is a, well, is it, is it a diminutive, it comes from group, and, and so groupie puts you sort of outside the, the, the male bastion, so it diminishes you. Um, but if you look, if you turn it round, the, the, the rock star, or whoever it is that you're pursuing or after, he could equally well be looked on as a commodity, because it's the girl chasing the rock star. So it's not just the girl that's the commodity being, say, abused or used, but the girl is also chasing the rock star to get the notch on her belt too. So it works both ways. So I've often wondered who was in control in the, in the groupie situation. There weren't many. Um, Pamela Desbars was a sort of early fucking teller, wasn't she? And then uh, I suppose there was Cynthia Plastercaster, who's actually a really nice girl. I've I've met. I, they're both nice, but um, Pamela told the truth as she knew it. Groupie is fictionalised so that we could mess about with the story and have fun with it because we actually th thought it was rather a funny situation that she was going through. She was on a mission, Katie, in the book, which she achieves because at the end she rejects the big star because she's her own person at the end of the book. And she may have been many other peoples along the way, <laughs> but at the end she's her own. <laughs>